That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. There is one important thing I've learned over the past years that improved my photography massively. I will show you a short clip right now, which I recorded some days ago of me photographing at Tresima di Lavaredo in the Dolomites. And after that, we will meet here again and we will talk about the special type of photography I did and how it can make also you a better photographer. It's very good morning. I'm still in the Dolomites. I'm still at Racime, and uh, yeah, it's early in the morning. And oh man, the fog is rolling in here. It is amazing. And uh, I think I will try it a little bit more in that, in that direction. I photograph a little bit towards the sun. I'm not sure. I don't think that there's also fog at the other side. I will go a little bit back there. But anyway, I hope for getting <laughs> some clouds there and where. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, there's only one way to find out. Ah, this is what I fear. Clear sky over there. Ah, it's not good. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, maybe there's a little chance to have clouds in that direction. If this is the case, I'm happy. If not, but yeah, <laughs> we will see what I can do then. Uh, yeah, there are so many different types of compositions here. It is amazing. And maybe we have clear sky, no clouds up there. We have a uh, little bit of clouds back there towards the east. And this gives us this nice uh, soft light here on this landscape. And what, what I'm currently gonna attract the by is um, the refugia up there and the mountains and the light, how it goes through here. It's so fantastic. It is amazing. idea also to look always for connections, how things are connected in the composition. And what I got attracted by is this hill here down there, which is illuminated by the sun and the sunbeam at the right hand side, which shines through the entire image from the right uh, top to the left bottom. And this looks really, really fantastic. Yeah, from the technical side, I have my long lens on. I just, uh, I looked for composition. I, I took different uh, shots and yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, this one is really something um, better than the other ones, I would say, and this just because of this one connection. I would say, let's make the click.
the sun goes already up behind the mountain up there. And yeah, a really cool thing is when you're photographed already, you know, there, big shots. Uh, a photograph like that uh, I photographed uh, last year here at uh, Tresime, you get a little bit more, yeah, more sensitive for, for the detail shots, for, for more intimate compositions maybe, where you just show a fragment um, yeah, of Tresime here, where you really don't know that it's Tresime. Maybe you will recognize it when you have been there already, where I mean, you know Tresime, I mean, yeah, that's a basic where I mean, actually you recognize anything. But however, um, what I got attracted by is yeah, these, these lines here, uh, which uh, gets uh, this nice contrast by the sunlight uh, from the distance, and a little bit of the mountain face up there. And that's the light is so fantastic at the moment, I would say. Let's make the click. That's the same day I just uh, changed hats because yeah, it gets a little, really a little bit warmer. I'm already walking back to the van yeah, because I think it doesn't really make sense to wait longer. The sun is already quite high up. We have harsh light. And I think maybe in the evening, I mean, I mentioned already in my last week's video that the weather is quite tricky at the moment. This is because uh, high um, of Africa uh, fights with the low of Iceland. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really, uh, sometimes we have a little bit more high pressure then we have more low pressure and so on. It changes always a little bit. And in the evening, I actually, I think also to have more clear sky conditions with the chance for clouds, but there is also a big chance to get rain and maybe even a thunderstorm between. I'm not sure um, yeah, if it's uh, safe to go out then. I will uh, walk back, I will check the weather maps and yeah, then I will see what I will do. But however, it was such a fantastic morning out here. It is amazing. I didn't go out for photography that following evening. I mean, the light was amazing actually, but I didn't go out because there happened something which is revealed in my next video. And before I will tell you now how that type of photography you have seen in the clip can improve your photography, my friends, if you like this video, please consider to give me a thumb up. You know, it helps me, it helps the algorithm, and it helps also other photographers out there to improve their photography. So thank you therefore. Okay, so how can the type of photography you have seen in the clip improve your photography? Now, if you know Tresime, the mountain, you know how spectacular it is. Yeah, I mean Tresime, that's even the landmark of the Dolomites. Everyone who comes here wants to see Tresime with his own eyes because it's so spectacular. Tourists take snapshots with their phones, photographers take photographs with the other cameras obviously, but the problem is that mountain is that spectacular that it steals the show of the other mountains around, which are also more than spectacular. Really, the entire area here looks like yeah, another planet. So what I did on that morning is I went intentionally to a place where I didn't, yeah, where I didn't uh, make much sense to frame up a composition with Tresima itself. And this allowed me to focus more on the mountains around. To be honest, I didn't have any plan about what to photograph that morning. I just looked what the light did. And light changed everything. I made already a comprehensive video about light. I will link it up here for you. 
However, on that morning, the first thing I got attracted by was that cone of light shining over the refugia up there. And short after that, the peaks of the mountains left beside me started to glow. So I built up a composition with that. And just a few minutes later, the sun got higher and the hills in front of me caught the light in such an enchanting way. So I went back to my first composition actually, and I included the hills as a foreground element. The interesting thing is that character the hill was there already before, of course, but there was simply no accentuation. It was not a prominent character. It had not added anything to my first composition, but the light transformed it into something totally outstanding. And it even changed the story of the image. It emphasized the act of the light in this scene. So when we break it down, although I was photographing at one of the most beautiful mountains in the world. I photographed <laughs> into the, the other direction. And the important thing now is I made the light to a prominent character of my composition. Trasima was yeah, right behind me, the most spectacular mountain of the Dolomites, the landmark even. But the light transformed the landscape in the other direction into something absolutely breathtaking. And this, my friends, is the way how to get really unique photographs, even at totally iconic places. Important at that point is just to understand composition. And I'm not talking about the rule of thirds or something like that. I don't use rules like that. I'm talking about more about the artistry concept of an image. And for those who haven't downloaded it already, I made a comprehensive ebook about composition, about art history architecture. It is still available for free, by the way. I will link it yeah, down in the description for you. My ebook about composition. Yeah, the Dolomites are absolutely stunning and there are so many more possibilities for photography. In my next video, you will see me photographing in a cave, what is totally crazy. But as I already mentioned, there happened something. I made a big mistake, which led to yeah, a nightmare situation actually. And yeah, if I'm able to turn it around and if I will get anyway some amazing photographs, as you will in my next video, which I will link here for you. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give me a thumb up. Don't forget to tune in next week. There will come a fantastic video as well. I thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.